everyone. It's exactly a month uh, since Ivanti announced the end of life date for Sherwell. Um, I, I know, I know it's December 1st and the announcement was October 31st, but November doesn't have 31 days. So exactly a month later. Uh, and I've been doing a lot uh, on a project to help uh, people who are transitioning off of Sherwell. Realistically, I don't want you all to have to leave that world behind. I don't want you to have to make a decision about uh, which other tool that exists in the market uh, to, to go to, because I don't think they've truly understood the power of Sharewell. I think you do. That's why you chose Sharewell in the first place. Um, and I, I want to build something that captures that. Um, so, of course... I'm more than happy to talk to each and every one of you, uh, understand exactly what you're looking for in Sharewell, um, what brought you to Sharewell in the first place, what kept you on Sharewell, um, what you would be looking for from Sharewell on into the future. But that doesn't mean I'm just going to sit and, and wait for people to, to come to me. I've obviously been working on a tool uh, that will help you regardless of, of your decision in, in that arena. Um, and I wanted to take this video to kind of describe where I'm going with this, right? So obviously, if you've seen the last few videos, um, it's very much a read-only platform. And if you haven't seen those videos, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and go check out those past videos. I'll uh, I'll leave a couple of them linked uh, down in the video description, um, as well as the demo of the the actual software that I'm building. Um, and my email address. So if you want to talk to me or have any questions about it, just shoot me an email or you can leave a comment down below if that works too. So right now I'm working on just a read only tool that allows you to view all the data in your ShareWell backup. So I'm going to keep reiterating if you haven't already done it, get a backup of your ShareWell data. If you're hosted, get that from ShareWell slash Avanti support. Uh, if you're on premise, I mean, you have access to your data anyway, but just keep backing it up. Make sure that you have a copy of that data so that when your, your Sharewell license expires, you don't lose any, any access to any of that data. Um, so I've been building a tool that basically sits on top of that database and gives you all the information that you had in there. Uh, and that's, that's my plan for the rest of the year. So the month of December, um, I want to get it as fully functional as possible from the perspective of being able to see the data that is in the system. Um, I think that's, I think that's possible. Um, after that, uh, there are kind of a few buckets that, that I'm thinking of functionality in terms of. So the next bucket is, um, standard interaction. Uh, after that, um, I'm thinking in terms of uh, I don't really know what to term it, uh, but like external access. And then uh, finally, I do want to start adding features that are uh, brand new that Sharewell has never had um, because obviously the industry has changed since Sharewell came on the market. Technology has changed since Sharewell came on the market. And realistically, even though I list that bucket third, I don't want to wait until, you know, kind of in my head, I'm thinking like quarters. So I don't want to wait till the second half of 2024 to start working on those things. So you'll actually start seeing some of those uh, come into the platform as early as January or February. Um, and you might see some sneak previews uh, coming in the next few weeks. We'll see. Uh, you know, I've, I've got bigger fish to fry, fry right now. Um, but I, I want to add some features that are that are useful to uh, people who are still on Sharewell, still using Sharewell, and looking to use a modern tool without having to leave some of the things that they really enjoyed about about Sharewell. Um, so I, I do want to dive into a little more detail of what each what is in each of those buckets. Uh, so right now, obviously. I'm working on getting the biz out for working. I don't think that comes as a, as a surprise to anyone. I think it's pretty obvious where I've been going with all this. 
Um, I do want to show the original biz op form, um, not just, you know, a, a, a mock-up of a, you know, pick, pick the fields that you want to see and you, you get to see the data in them. I want to show the biz op form. It's definitely possible. Um, and as I've been getting into more and more of the XML, I've realized that it's a lot more attainable than I thought it was initially. So that'll be coming here in the next couple of weeks. Um, should be pretty exciting. Keep an eye out for, for that demo. Um, after that, uh, I want to do things uh, that are, are more, um, you know, more active in the platform. I feel like data, data access is pretty passive, um, but there are some, some uh, more compute oriented things that, uh, you know, it was kind of the powerhouse of Sharewell. So things like executing saved searches, right? That's, I don't have that anywhere in the platform right now, but I think that's pretty, that's pretty key, uh, especially from a historical perspective. Um, one of the things that, that was built into Sharewell uh, during your initial implementation was some of that reporting and dashboarding and uh, you know, saved searches were, were a big part of that. So I wanna get saved searches in there. Um, eventually we'll get to some of that other stuff. Reporting might be uh, further down the, down the road. Dashboarding, I'm not sure exactly when I'll get into that. Um, biz up forms and being able to search for data is, is you know, top of mind for me. Um, and then I wanna get into things like, uh, you know, access control and authentication. And for that, I don't necessarily want to just re-implement on top of what Sharewell had. Um, yes, all that information is in there. All the configuration for how you authenticated um, is, is present in your configuration. Um, but that might not be the best way to go. Um, we'll, we'll see. I've got a couple ideas. I don't want to commit to, to one in particular, um, but I've done, you know, over the, over the last several years, I've built uh, authentication paradigms for multiple different uh, scenarios. Um, and I want to pick a, an authentication scheme that, that makes sense uh, for what we're dealing with here. Um, and ideally not write my own authentication. I've, I, I've gone too far in my career and rewritten authentication nearly every place I've, I've ever worked. Um, I'm done with that. I would love to be able to utilize uh, what someone else has written and vetted and hardened in terms of authentication and ideally do some sort of federated auth, you know, ideally OAuth or SAML across the board. Ideally. Um, again, let me know if you have a different opinion. Um, and then API access. I'm not going to rebuild the Sharewell API. Just not going to do it. I'm going to build an API from the ground up. I've built several APIs. I have strong opinions about how APIs should be built. And I wanna make an API that just feels natural. It shouldn't feel like you're using a metadata tool. It should feel like you're using an API that you've built to be a first class API. You should interact with a, an incident endpoint as opposed to uh, a create bizob endpoint and then you have to tell it it's an incident and give it a list of fields. And that just always felt clunky to me. So that'll be coming. Uh, and then eventually I want to get into the execution of one steps. And with that, you know, further on down the line, we're probably, now we probably are into the second half of next year, uh, things like automations and that sort of thing. Um, uh, so scheduled tasks and, uh, you know, the, the automation process server, that sort of thing. Um, again, not going to rebuild it exactly the way that Sharewell had it built. Um, I'm going to build it better, quite frankly. Um, so that's kind of the, the general high level uh, roadmap for what this tool will become. Uh, if you have opinions, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. Shoot me an email. If you want to see this on your share well data, let's make it happen. Send me an email, drop a comment, um, find me on LinkedIn, um, and, and let's, let's, let's start a conversation. Let's start talking. Let's, uh, you know, make sure you have all the right pieces so that we can actually do that. Um, won't be that hard. Go check out some of my previous videos. Um, 
I'm, I'm designing this tool to be as easy as possible to adapt. So basically have your database run this tool. That's all you need to do. Um, so yeah, check out those videos. Let me know your thoughts and uh, I'll see you in the next one. I'm excited. I hope you are too.